Thank you for uh, once again for your trust all these years. 13 years. 13 years of friendship. Thank you. More to come, more to come. More to come. Thank you. Professionality marks you guys as being a different kind of firm. Put in a way that portrays the unique selling proposition of the house. So we are back with Daniel. Last time we interviewed Daniel was in like 2016, 2017. Very first uh, interview with our client. And uh, that was actually at Daniel's previous home at uh, one of the penthouse that we have just helped to sell. So that time, I think during the interview, it was the time that you have moved in there three years already. Yeah, about yeah. three, four years back. Yeah, and then we chatted about the episode whereby on how we helped Daniel and Sherry to plan and transit from their first property, which was a HDB property in Pongo. And then how um, they have from there moved on to purchase an investment property with us and then following which uh, another penthouse for their own state. So this time around, we're in Daniel's new home. So congratulations, uh, Daniel. Thanks, Melvin. Also, yeah. thanks to Christina. Then they just reminded us that the first transaction we ever did was in 2008. That was the Pongo HDB. Correct. Maybe then they share, share a little bit about all the different property purchase and sale that you had with us like since 2008. At that time, you, you guys just were getting married or just got married only. 2008, right? we just got married. So that was the period we moved into HDB flat. So after five years MOP, we decided to try out staying in the condominium. We wanted to have a, a bigger environment for them, facilities, swimming pool and all that. So we've been staying there for about seven years. I thought that we'll be staying there much longer. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But uh, things change. My wife got pregnant again. Yes. So this year... Congratulations, also, number four coming. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. So this year, we're also moving for the same reason. Mm. We moved because we feel that we have run out of places at the previous penthouse. Right. We decided to uh, move into somewhere bigger. Mm. So I think we, we got in touch with you again, asking you what are the available options. Right. We wanted to try to stay in the land this time. Right. And that's how we managed to find this uh, very lovely place. So Daniel, do you, you don't mind sharing with our audience like what is your current age, right? Oh, no problem, no problem. <laughs> I'm uh, 40 this year. 40 this year. Okay, so actually back in 2008, that time, that was about 13 years back. That was your first property when you were aged uh, at 27, 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah just got right, married. Exactly. Yeah, because uh, the reason why I asked uh, of your age is because a lot of buyers, a lot of families, when they first started, usually the very first property because of uh, the fact that we're in Singapore, either they will go for a BTO if they can wait, if not, they will go for a resale property, HDB, to enjoy some grant as well. Yes. Yeah, so that is usually the first route a young couple will take when they started to work. Yeah, and then while they build on their income and career after five years, usually at about the early 30s, they will start to transit the private property, which, which was the route that you took. I think one thing very interesting with Daniel and Sherry is that not only do they transit from their first HDB property to a private property, they also took on the investment route because if you have seen our episode one, so essentially what they have done is that we have helped them to plan using their some of the, the capital that is stored in their HDB property to transit into an investment property which they are still receiving rental income every month right now to the penthouse which is the biggest space for their own stay and after holding that two property for seven years yeah so this time around they have decided to switch from a penthouse to a freehold landed property. So then they share with us, apart from the fact that landed property is, is fabulous, the condition is so great and I think your perspective, other than size for your family, there are five very good sized bedrooms here. It's also a freehold property. So maybe just share a little bit about your thoughts about the property market scene in Singapore. What do you all think about switching to a freehold landed now? The main reason why we switched to a freehold was because I think after having the rental investment, I also have been listening, very actively listening to you guys about uh, all this uh, property investment. And I think uh, I discussed with my wife and I think that in a landscape environment like Singapore, we think that having a freehold property will, will have uh, reap better benefits in the long run. Mm. So that was why in, in our criteria for finding this new place, we would prefer to have a freehold property. But we feel that in the longer run, if we were to hold this uh, long enough, it would benefit us uh, financially as well. For a landed property, you are buying uh, not just the, the entire landed home itself, you're also buying the land. Yeah. yeah so you also own the land. Yeah. So, so Christian, maybe share a bit about when we first started the marketing campaign for the penthouse for 
Daniel. We will flash some of the videos here on the home tour that we've done for Daniel. That was in July 2020. Can we share a little bit about the marketing process and the response and, and how long did we take to sell the place? Yeah, so basically the penthouse that uh, Daniel had was actually a four bedroom penthouse at the alcove. So when we first met Daniel at the place, because at that time already three kids, mm. so the house is a little bit a lot of toys. We can see, yeah, they really need the space for <laughs> same as my family. home. My home is super, super yeah, cluttered with toys. Uh, books, toys, school bags everywhere. We actually advise um, Daniel to do some decluttering of the house. At the same time, also we advise you to do some paint work. Mm. Yeah, to mm. get the staircase, the blue staircase, to paint it to white and the overall house all to paint to white and we bring some accessory stages to kind of stage up the place right uh, of course the best thing is daniel and sherry they trust us a lot they also always cooperate based on our advice in order to help them achieve their goal and i think this is a selling point as well mm. because when we buy the place we did it up according to what we like mm. our own taste and all that mm. but according to your advices when we sell the place, we want to cater to the more general public instead of to a more niche market. Mm. Yeah, mm. but of course, uh, I think me and my wife we were very receptive to ideas and also advices from you. Mm. We decided to proceed to do all these changes to the place, and I think that works. Mm. The, the result speaks for itself. Right. Yeah. We actually launched this 16th of July. Over 19 days, we have 13 viewers that come and view the place. On the 19th day, we actually auctioned the house. There was a. Uh, quite a number of viewers, you say 13 yeah. viewers, and uh, there was also, uh, also quite a number of offers coming in. I think we managed to get a quite a good price for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah indeed. Yeah. From that, then we actually plan for the next home, which is this current home. Yeah, so were you excited when the home is sold and then the process started to kickstart to find a new home? What, what was your thoughts like? finding the next home. When the house was optioned, I think the first worry was uh, when we find a new place, will it be in time? Because we know that my wife was expecting. But we were prepared that in the eventuality that uh, we didn't get a place, mm. we, we are also open to renting it. Mm. Yeah. So, so with that in mind, I think we were not in a rush mm. to get a new place. Mm. But we wanted to make sure that we like the place and not rush to buy it itself. Right. Yeah. So I think having the right mindset helped us a lot. Right. And uh, I think we uh, pass on this uh, pressure to Christina, right. who also went on to make sure that she arranged for the right uh, properties for us to view. Right. Those within our criteria, freehold, must be a quiet environment and all that, uh, mm. the numbers of rooms and all that. I think she did a really good job in there. Right, right. So what was your first thought when you first saw this uh, place at District 28? Because of all the previous places we have seen, mm. when we saw this place, we were quite impressed. The overall it was maintained very well. The structure, the interior, the interior everything was very nicely done. Yeah. Yeah. And then we kicked out the negotiation process and I think it was a, a very healthy yes, uh, a very negotiation, pleasant. very yes, pleasant very experience. Pleasant it was a little bit difficult but I think uh, Christina managed to strike the right balance and rapport with the um, uh, seller's agent. Mm. Help us to make sure that we are always the at the... Uh, yeah, correct. There were a lot of interest yeah. in this property as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because ever since Circuit Breaker ended in June, July, that mm. period, all the way until now, I mean now we are in like January 2021, the landed, market, landed property market is heating up. I mean based on the listings that we are selling right now, there were a lot of beatings going on. For example, we, we just sold one at Taman Selamat, the District 14 Kemangan. There were six offers coming in and then we have to set a date and time for all the offers to to come in together. So there were just so many interests coming in. Families in Singapore, they're also treasuring that space is important. Mm. Uh, yes, and yes. at the same time, because of COVID, everyone is spending much more time at home. How, how do you find, what the, what's the benefit of landed living? Mm. Obviously, no more maintenance fee. Yeah. <laughs> no need to pay for no maintenance. That's the good thing. We don't have right. to pay the uh, MCST anymore. Now we have a bigger space, I think, we don't feel so cramped together. But also, that's a, I don't know whether you consider this a pro or con. I find it so much easier to find all my children. I just have to <laughs> click, they are there, they are there. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. now they are always <laughs> not within reach. Right, right, right. Yeah, you have to shout. The a boy, ah! <gasps> they really appreciate the space. Me and my wife, we also like the space a lot. Mm. We just don't feel that it's so cramped, everything is so cramped anymore. Mm. Yeah, everybody have their own individual space and it really helps in the overall in terms of mental health, family time and all that. So I think really a step in the right direction. Mm. I think when you identify this plot, uh, this is also a quiet facing. Outside, uh, importantly, there's no single white line, there's no double yellow, it's a dotted line in between, so you can also park cars at the side when you have visitors. Yeah, yeah all these are important factors. There's no long step up to the dining and stuff, so it's like oh, one flat yes, line. Yes, yeah, yes. This is important because... We, we saw a lot of the kind of... Yeah, usually those are 20 over years old landed. 
Uh, yours is a newer version, so, so, it's, so it's a flat, flat line, flat. easy for kids, flat easy for older folks. These are the small little details that we didn't know. I will see the property, then Christina will highlight to us. So we didn't know about this until we, when we come and see it. Yeah. So I think that really helped, uh, helped yeah. us a lot. And I think your zoning, uh, this is in a three-storey landed zoning, so you can go up to three and a half, which is why you have three levels plus an attic, which is fantastic. Yeah, so, so later we'll take a look. And what do you see the way that we market properties over these past 13 years? Well, Marvin, I think this is the biggest change that I've seen in you guys. Mm. When I got to know Melvin in 2008, like what he said, it was all still brand manually done. Yeah. Uh, it was newspaper, you were telling us how many times he's going to advertise on the newspaper. <laughs> but that's the way it is. Yeah, it yeah. is uh, how things Everybody work. Everybody was looking at newspaper, yeah, yeah, circling yeah. On every circling, weekend. Yeah, then you have to arrange for appointment, you were always on the phone, then you have to arrange a call to yeah. go to the next appointment and yes, all that. Yes, yes. There was always yeah. a... Uh, SPH classified in our car one. Yeah. 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 Then, then it was still the same in when we did the alcove transaction. Mm. Yes. Yeah. But this time round, I think I, I can see there's a very big change. Mm. When you were sharing with me that uh, now now there's no more newspaper, it's no longer just placing an ad on the newspaper anymore. I was yeah. like, oh, but that was how you guys did in the past. Yeah. And you're telling me things have changed very fast. You have to do a virtual tour, yeah. which there was zero back in 2008. Yes. Nobody was doing this. Yes. I think yeah, you guys have evolved very fast to adapt to these changes. Mm. I have been uh, seeing all these videos and all that. I, I, I feel that the industry is evolving. Mm. We have to bring the concept of uh, decluttering. Yeah. Uh, we have to bring the concept of uh, beautifying the, the whole place yeah. and all that uh, so as to make the whole uh, the, the whole place more presentable and I can see that as a result now. Mm. When the place was uh, viewed in within three weeks and option, we see how these little changes help to benefit the, both the buyer and seller. Mm. And you also told me by placing in the Facebook uh, ads that it's very targeted audience. Yeah. It doesn't just cast a net and hope for the fish to swim inside. Yeah. We are looking for the right area the right buyers and, and then target this. Yeah. I think this is the biggest change that I've seen in the property market. That was also the reason why we, we kept using you guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Imagine yeah. the, a 13 years uh, relationship. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We feel very fortunate and very happy that you guys continue to trust us and give us the opportunity to serve you. Why don't Daniel, you show us around your place and then we, we take a walk through, then we chat along the way. Okay. We have a small pond here for, uh, for my fishes. Now the fishes have a bigger place as well. <laughs> we upgrade our place, but the fishes also have a bigger place as well. <laughs> you see that the living room and the dining room is all, all, all connected. Yeah, yeah. But this was done by, by the previous uh, owner. Yeah. And I think this is also uh, what we like. Mm. A very open concept. For the outdoor to the indoor yeah. to the kitchen. And then got dry and wet kitchen. Mm -hmm. I love this picture a lot, so it's brought it back from France. None of the space here belongs to me. <laughs> your, your oh, man, mine, mine, mine is over there. <laughs> so the difference between men and women yeah, 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 yeah. is very true. It's yeah. very true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello everyone. So this is going to be, yeah. We're going to make this into a study room, not into the balcony. Uh, you probably still remember that. That is a block over from the alcove. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for uh, once again for your trust all these years. 13 years, 13 years of friendship. Thank you. More to come, more to come, more to come. Yeah, we're very thankful for Daniel uh, to spend his precious weekend with us, uh, chatting with us, giving us a sharing with our audience. And so, once again, wish you all the best. And I know next week you're going to be in uh, the hospital delivering your baby. <laughs> Fantastic blessing for 2021, new home, four kids. Yeah, so enjoy, enjoy father time. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. okay. All right.